Now at six, three mayors walk into an elevator and become the punchline. Today, Mayor Bill Peduto was able to laugh about the ordeal that they shared. Political editor John Delano has the story. Mayor Bill Peduto got stuck in an elevator at the Weston Convention Center Hotel for 40 minutes on Thursday evening, and he wasn't alone. I should have taken the stairs. I mean, I was taking the stairs, and a friend of mine, Gene Clark, uh, had the elevator. So uh, I had the opportunity to spend uh, 40 minutes with the mayors of Leedsdale and Millville and uh, a worker from uh, uh, the Weston. This is the blurry image of the five of them stuck, including Mayor Pete Paninski of Leedsdale and Mayor Vincinski of Millvale. Peduto was trying to exit on the first floor lobby. You realize something was wrong when it didn't stop at one, and then it didn't stop at P1, and then it didn't stop at P2, and that's the last floor. And there was just a loud thud, and we all sort of laughed and waited for the doors to open, and they opened 40 minutes later. On Friday, the troublesome elevator was closed for repair. The mayor said he had no fear whatsoever on this elevator. Why? Because the elevator was stuck not up high, but on the very bottom level. Did you make any phone calls? What did you do? How did you reach out to people that you were stuck? We had no way to make a phone call because we were in the sub-basement. There is no cell service. So we sat there for about a minute thinking about it. Unfortunately, the worker from the Westin had a walkie-talkie. Peduto credits Celeste Boston, who works for ABM, a parking management company hired by the Westin, for having a walkie-talkie. But I found an emergency telephone button on each Weston elevator that I'm told is manned 24-7. And it worked for us. Ma'am, Senator, is there a problem, Ms. Clark? No, we're okay. We were just testing the system. Thank you. But Mayor Paninski told me in the early evening the button only produced a loud ring. But with the walkie-talkie, help was summoned. Thankful when the doors opened. It was getting kind of muggy in there. EMS greeted them. You know, this is EMS week uh, around the country. We celebrate our EMS workers. I just never thought that I would be one of their people they had to help. John Delano, KDKA TV News.